Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today, I'm in black and white, but not for long. Today we are doing a palette bingo using Nomad Cosmetics palettes in collaboration with my dear friend Rachel Shimmers and Silver over here on YouTube. We did a palette bingo collab earlier this year doing a palette bingo using some Odin's Eye palettes. And today we are bringing palette bingo back to you using some of our Nomad Cosmetics palettes. So if you're interested in seeing this look in color, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button and keep on watching because we are about to dive right in. All right, friends, these are the four Nomad palettes we are going to be working out of today. We have the Whistler Lodge, the Paradise, the Costa Rica, and of course the Verona palette. And this is the color story that Rachel randomly generated. I will also include a picture so you can see the shades a little bit better, but I'm very excited. I've been trying for literally a couple weeks to figure out what type of look I wanted to do. I think it's mostly that red that's tripping me up, but I think we can do it. I've already prepped my eyes off camera. I am wearing my P. Louise base just set with a translucent powder and now we can go ahead and start with the eye look. So I think I actually want to start with this green matte that is from the Costa Rica palette. The shade we pulled in is green vine snake down in the corner and I think what I want to do is kind of do a green to blue look. So I am going to pop this in my crease but only in the inner part of my crease. So I'm putting that on a kind of fluffier blending brush just so I can really diffuse those edges as I place it down. But I'm just going to really concentrate that on the first half of my crease. It's looking a little alien-esque right now. So let's go ahead and dive into our next shade. Scratch that. I was looking at the shades and for some reason I thought that more of these were matte and they weren't. So I'm going to go ahead and take green vine snake again and we're just going to go over my entire crease with that. I'm going to switch up my my game plan a little bit. I'm not going to go too heavy on this outer edge because I do think I'm going to go ahead and do a winged eyeliner and so if it's going to be covered up I don't have to be super precise with that edge anyway. Next we're going to pop into my Whistler Snow Lodge palette and I think I'm actually going to go into black comb which is this dark blue shimmer, but I don't think I'm gonna use it as a shimmer. I think I'm actually gonna try and deepen up my crease with this. So this could either be very, very creative or it could go super south super quick. So I'm just gonna take that on a little detail blender and I'm just going to start very gently. I'm just going to start working that right into my crease to add some depth to that green. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't think I hate it because the previous green shade had so much yellow in it because it was more of a lime green. It's combining with that dark blue to create more of like a dark green shimmer. Okay, I think this could work. I really think this could work. I'm actually very excited to see what Rachel does because I feel like Rachel and I, while we both have our love of colorful eyeshadow, we have very different styles. I like to go for more of monochromatic or contrasting colors in my colorful eye looks, but I feel like Rachel's really, really good at pairing different color combinations together. Like literally every time I watch her videos, I'm always thinking of new things to try. So I'm very excited to see how she does her look today. Normally I wouldn't even think to use a shimmer in my crease, but because I'm limited to just these five shades, and I only have two mattes and they are opposite colors. I really have to be creative. I'm gonna clean up all those lines with that first blending brush just to make sure I got that blended out super, super well. So this is what the crease is looking like so far. I'm gonna do a cut crease. We're gonna do a little dramatic cut crease moment. So let me go ahead and find my NYX glitter glue and then we'll cut my eyelids. As always with my cut creases, I go a little bit above my natural crease I do have very small eyes, so I like to kind of make a little bit of dramatic statement. I don't want my glitter glue to dry down just yet, so I'm going to hop into my Paradise palette, and we're going to go into Shark, which is this really, really pretty blue shimmer, and I'm going to take that kind of on the outer, I would say like outer half of my eyelid, and I'm just packing that down with a Sigma packing brush. Look how absolutely stunning these shimmers are. Like they just blow my mind every single time the shimmers in this palette. I'm starting in the outer half with that shade and then I'm gently patting it in towards 
the inner corner. I am going to blend this with a different shade in just a second. Literally every single time I use the Paradise palette, I always wonder why I don't use it more. And for the inner part of the lid, we're going to hop back to Whistler Snow Lodge and we are going to go into Ski Bum, which is this really pretty blue, pinky, shifty shade. I'm just taking that on an ABH brush and I'm going to pack that right in the inner part of my lid, blending that to meet with Shark. I'm also going to drag this down just a touch and use it as my inner corner highlight. I don't want a super dramatic inner corner today, but just enough. Look how shifty and blendiful that looks. It looks so good. These are not colors that I would typically think of pairing together, but this is why we do these videos because they're kind of fun like that. Now that I have one lid done, I can go ahead and prime the other eye and replicate the same shimmer pattern. We only have one shade left, which is that bright red matte from the Verona palette. I'm going to take a little bit of that red matte on this Lexi angled brush, and I'm going to just buff it on my lower lash line and try and diffuse it to make it more pink instead of red. I feel like the red is a little bit too bold for me, so I'm going to go ahead and take Ski Bum one more time, and we are going to just top that red with Ski Bum and make it a really pretty shimmery pink and I feel like that's really going to soften it and make it not so obnoxious. All right, friends, I'm going to quick pop off camera, finish off the look, and then we'll meet back for our final thoughts. Okay, friends, this is the final look completed. I just popped on some winged eyeliner, a little bit of lipstick, some mascara, really just finished off the look and I'm loving how it's looking. I am actually super, super pleasantly surprised. I felt like we broke the rules a little bit today with makeup using a shimmer in the crease and then layering the matte and shimmer on the lower lash line. Sorry about the lighting. I'm filming at like golden hour and it is not working for me. I really enjoyed how today's look turned out. In fact, I really enjoyed doing this look so much that I really wanna set some time apart later this week to do a completely different look using Shark and Ski Bum together. I just think they go so good together. Like that bluey purple reflect into the teal shimmer. I just think it's so, so pretty. Definitely be sure to check out Rachel's video. If you haven't already, I will link her channel in the description below as well as her video and her Instagram. Please go check her out. She is amazing. I love her. She is one of my close friends here on the YouTube space. And I think you guys would all really enjoy her as well. With that being said, my friends, this is where I'm going to leave you today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends! Bye.